Hey guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. It's a girl Fanny Lungu back with another reaction video. If you're new, welcome. If you're not, welcome back. Uh, thank you for liking, subscribing, commenting, everything that you guys do. Thank you for 21,000 subscribers. You guys are the best. Uh, if there's anything that you guys would love us to react to, let us know by dropping the name or the link down below and we'll be more than glad to react to it or I'll be more than glad to react to whatever you suggest. You can find us on Facebook and Instagram as Fanny and Jesse head there. Say hi and we'll say hi back. Check out our second YouTube channel called Funny and Jesse 2.0 and enjoy the vlogs that we put out there. So today I'm actually going to be reacting to why they are making fun of Hinduism. Also I'm replied by Sad Girl. So without wasting time, let's get into the video. In this culture, Shiva, look at the man. Hello. Does he look wimpy to you? <laughs> He's carrying a weapon in his hand. You see Rama, a gentle human being, still always a weapon in his hand. You think he's carrying it for decoration? <laughs> Krishna, you know him only battlefield scenes only you know him, always in the battlefield only, all calendars. <laughs> so obviously you know about Krishna and Shishupala, this is an ideal situation for that. There was one Shishupala, in an assembly of people he went on insulting Krishna, abusing. So Krishna said, say, you said too much, you are nearing ninety-nine. Ninety-nine insults you put. If you cross ninety-nine and become hundred, I will not keep quiet, I'll take your head off. But that guy doesn't stop, he says the hundred thing. So Krishna just takes his head off. Hello? I'm saying <laughs> in this country all the people you worship, they're not wimpy, this kind of people. That's for you're imported from elsewhere. Here, uh, we are not unnecessarily looking for a fight with anybody, that's not our idea of life. But if you are throwing filth on us, we will wait, we will make manure out of it and throw it back at you, hoping <laughs> right. hoping, uh, <laughs> hoping you will also blossom one day. I want you to understand, in this culture, spirituality did not mean simply being like this. Just look back and see, everybody that I mentioned, or in more recent times you look back and see there is a Guru Govind Singh who created a whole militant race, okay? They don't want us to exist, they're not countering a certain idea that we have put forth and they have something else to say, it's perfectly okay. They are not countering anything that you say. Whatever you say, they will abuse you. Whatever you say, they will abuse you. Because they don't want you to exist. Because I want you to know, our very existence is dissolving their existence. All these people who are living, on, living in this country like leeches, sucking blood off this nation, they don't like it. They don't like it. If human beings become more conscious, more aware, stand up for themselves, they don't like it. They would like the country to be poor, they would like the country to be ignorant, so they could always do what they were doing for all these years. So, if a leech is unhappy, I'm happy. It's okay. <laughs> Very interesting video. At first, I wasn't following. I really wasn't understanding what was being said. But then, towards the end, 
he makes a statement i'm sure he's talking about a specific country and many people would attest that many people around the world are becoming woke or at least aware of what certain people do in their countries and they really don't like when someone or crowds speak against it which is i guess politics as we are calling it now and it's a shame that sometimes even when you try to speak out against that bad sometimes you're stopped you're not allowed to have be it a peaceful protest be it whatever it is they don't want you to bring awareness to what's bothering you they just don't want it it's better you're just in your homes you're safe otherwise if you go out there do the most they deal with you so it's like I, like I said, I really do understand what he's saying, but then he didn't name and shame anyone. He just speaks in a general sense. I'm sure the people he was speaking to understand better. Let me know what you guys actually think about this and what are your thoughts? Please comment down below. Your thoughts are always welcome. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends and of course do not forget to subscribe and I'll see you in my next reaction video.